Hello, this is Chris Minnick with Webucator. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and use the WordPress Popular Posts plugin by Hector Cabrera. This video was inspired by a blog post on Hector's blog at the URL shown here. WordPress Popular Posts helps your visitors find your best content right away. The widget is quite flexible. It can sort your popular posts either by page view or by comment count. You can also select to list the most popular posts from a time range, such as today, last week, last month, and so on. To install WordPress Popular Posts, log in to your WordPress dashboard and go to Plugins, Add New. Search for WordPress Popular Posts. Click on Install Now. And then once it's installed, click on Activate Plugin. Go to the settings for the plugin to view your popular posts by different time ranges. Note that the widget can only track popular posts starting with when it was installed, so the plugin will be blank until it's had time to collect data on your most popular posts. If you're using a caching plugin such as WP SuperCache, you should clear its cache after installing WordPress popular posts so that it can begin tracking pages immediately. To display the popular post widget on your site, go to Appearance, Widgets. Find the widget and then add it to a sidebar. Give the widget a title and then you can set different parameters of the widget including the number of posts to show and the time range. When you're finished, click Save. You can also place the widget on your site by using the WPP shortcode or a template tag. The documentation for the shortcode is available at the URL shown here. And the template tag documentation is available here. When it's active, the plugin will display a list of the most popular posts, along with the number of views. Of course, the HTML is completely customizable, so the resulting widget can look any way you want it to, and can even display thumbnail images for each post. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks again to Hector for the inspiration. Check out his blog at the URL shown here for other articles related to web development and WordPress.